Hey friends, Asher with Jensen's. Hope you're doing well. It's that time again. It is 10 cheap colognes for every man time. <laughs> or 10 cheap fragrances, whatever you want to call it. So I did this video last year and a lot of people have requested a redo. So here we are. So the idea here basically is that these fragrances are going to be very versatile scents. They're not very expensive. Some of them are better suited for fall or winter. Some are better suited for spring and summer. But overall, every one of these fragrances is really easy to wear, smells nice, smells appealing, and is not gonna cost that much. So let's jump into it and let's check these out. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna give you guys the pricing for each one of these that I was able to find at either FragranceNet or FragranceX. If it's a fragrance net price, it was found with a 35% off coupon code, which I'll leave in the description. If you're watching this in the future, the code may have changed. Okay, let's get this very obvious one out of the way. Mont Blanc Explorer. This is basically designer Cris Aventis. Super easy to wear, doesn't have a pineapple note, but it does have bergamot and really most pineapple accords are made using primarily bergamot. So you're still gonna get a similar fruity feeling in the opening from this as you will from Aventus. This one is $30.54 for this size right here, 60 milliliters. There's also vetiver, ambroxan, aki wood, and pink pepper in this fragrance. This one is super versatile. You can use this daytime or nighttime pretty much all year round. This one is a killer. Just a huge compliment grabber and uh, office friendly as well. And this one did grow on me a ton since it first came out. When it first came out, I was not really super sure about it being, you know, kind of an event to see kind of fragrance, but for the price, really good. This next one I found for $36.39 for a 50 mil size bottle. That is smaller <laughs> than the size that I have here though. This is Versace Dylan Blue and this bottle is 200 milliliters. It's a big boy. This one has bergamot and grapefruit in the opening. So you're gonna get that nice citrus combination. There's also incense in here along with ambroxan and some aquatic notes. The incense helps give more depth, more richness, little touch of smoke, not too much. This one also, just like Explore, huge, huge compliment puller, big people pleaser. And this one is another one that I think really you can use year round. Now, a lot of people are gonna use this more for spring and summertime, but because of that incense, it does give it a little added depth. So you can pull this off in fall or winter as well. As far as just the, I guess, more affordable blue fragrances go in the designer world, this one is right up toward the top, if not at the top. I mean, Yves Saint Laurent, Y, Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, those fragrance lines are gonna run you more than Dylan Blue, typically about double the price. So Dylan Blue, fantastic choice for a cheap fragrance for men. And also the qualifier that I'm using here, I forgot to go over it before, under 50 bucks. So under 50 US dollars, that's what I'm considering cheap or affordable for this fragrance video. This next one you can find for $36.98 as of this video for a 100 milliliter size. It is though a tester. If you get the full presentation, it's gonna be a lot more than 50 bucks and that's because it's a new fragrance. It came out this year. Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum Intense. So this is the newest flanker of the, the one line, which is really well known for being a big date night fragrance, an evening out kind of fragrance, very sexy, sweet, and alluring. This one does things a little differently though. There's cashmere in, there's leather, there's benzoin, there's neroli, and there is cardamom in here. So the one Eau de Parfum and the one Eau de Toilette, those are the ones that are most well known from the line. Those ones use kind of a tobacco, ambery, kind of sweet profile. This one is sweet, but instead it concentrates more on a sweet cardamom and then a modern cashmere in the base. So that cashmere is gonna give you some fuzzy warmth as it dries down, but it is a different take on this DNA from the Eau de Parfum and from the Eau de Toilette. Some people might say it's a little more modernized because of the ingredients that are being used here and how they're being used. And for the price, it's actually a really good deal because as I said, this one came out in 2020. It's the newest one of the bunch. This next one is $37.69 for a 50 mil size bottle. It is Prada 
Loam. And this one is an office standout. As has been said since this came out, fantastic office scent. It's clean, it's fresh, it's soapy, very easy to wear. This one is gonna lean more towards spring and summer use, fall use as well, but not one that people will think of as much for winter time. They're probably gonna go with Prada Loam Intense during winter and possibly even fall. This one has iris, amber, neroli, pepper, and cedar. as some of the notes in the fragrance and the iris is really what you're gonna pull from that one. It's what people talk about the most. As I said, it is soapy. It's uh, maybe a little bit powdery, but it's fresh, easy to wear, people like it. And we're gonna go from that one to another Prada. So from one Prada to another, the next one is Prada Lunarosa Carbon. This one you can find for $38.99 for a 50 ml size bottle. This one right here is 100, so a little smaller than this. It has lavender, metallic notes, ambroxan, bergamot, and even coal as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one, basically just a really easy way to break it down, is Prada's take on Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. So it's Dior Sauvage with a little Prada twist, not quite as aggressive, not quite as in your face, a little bit smoother, not quite as loud as far as the projection goes. So for some people, the original take on that DNA, Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette is gonna be the way to go. For other people, they like Prada Lunarosa Carbon, the fragrance that took an idea from Dior Sauvage and made it into its own thing. One thing that is really useful about Carbon though, is if you really like Dior Sauvage, but you don't wanna pony up the money, you can get this, a little bit less and it's going to give you a really similar feel. The next one costs $42.12 for a 50 ml size bottle. It's this one, light blue O Intense from Dolce & Gabbana. This one obviously going to be more of a spring and summertime fragrance. It's got juniper, grapefruit, mandarin, and sea notes in the fragrance. It does have kind of a salty feel from the aquatic note in here, but it's really, really nice, very brisk very fresh and refreshing. That one, as time goes, just seems better and better because you have more flankers coming out in the light blue line, but they're not really as good as this one. So the more fragrances that you have coming out in the line that just can't stack up to this one, the more this one really just becomes the one to get in the line. And for me, this is the one that I would suggest that you get from the line. And this one also has grown on me more over time. When I first got it, I liked it. Wasn't really in love with it though. And then as time went on and I wore it more, it really grew on me. So Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense, very solid fragrance, great for daytime use, great for casual use, great for use in the office, and great in spring and summer. The next one is $39.64 for a 100 ml size bottle. It is Abercrombie & Fitch Authentic. And this bottle is actually really nice. It's very heavy, it's got a magnetic cap, atomizer on it is good as well. This has clear wood, suede, and bergamot, along with grapefruit and ginger. So you have that grapefruit ginger opening, makes it very brisk, very nice, and very appealing as it dries down, as a really kind of modern man's uh, scent profile to it. That's gonna be mainly from the clear wood. So clear wood is essentially like patchouli with any dirty or earthy facets stripped out of it and with more of a, a woodsy kind of profile to the uh, aroma chemical, hence the name clear wood. Essentially just a very clean, woody smelling note. Even though it's an Abercrombie and Fitch fragrance, it is not a fragrance that's relegated just to teenagers. Lots of guys can use this one. Very versatile, like all these other fragrances. I don't think that it's hyper super unique or necessarily mind blowing, but it is a great daily driver kind of fragrance. Just one that you can wear day to day, not really think about and get good use out of. And of course, people are gonna like it. Next one is $35.09 for a tester bottle, 100 ml size. It's Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. And this is a tester bottle, so if you get it as a tester, no cap. You could also go with Van Cleef and Arpels in New York instead of this one. It's gonna give you a similar kind of vibe. Uh, so really, either one of those in New York or the Missoni. This has grapefruit, ginger, lavender, oak, and birch as some of the notes in the fragrance. Has a really good atomizer as well, good pressurized atomizer. This one is a little bit like Blue de Chanel. So this is kind of like a, a more accessible Blue de Chanel, a cheaper Blue de Chanel, kind of in the same way that Lunarosa Carbon can give you a Dior Sauvage vibe for less. 
The presentation on this is actually really nice. The bottle is heavy, it looks good. And if you get the full presentation as a magnetic cap as well. So if you wanna pony up a little more money, you can get that one and it's gonna look a little better on yourself than this one. But ultimately the fragrance is what matters and it's a solid one. Great for daytime use, nighttime use, basically a year round fragrance, extremely versatile like Blue de Chanel. There have been a number of affordable, inspired by Blue de Chanel fragrances out there. Our Moff did Tag Helm, which is really not all that good. Perry Ellis has one as well, and it's okay, but this one is a lot better, and this is the one that I would suggest. This next one is a little bit different. It is still a fragrance that's really likable, but I think out of the fragrances in this list, it's probably the one that is the least versatile. It's still good though. It's Dirty English. If you buy it, this is how it's gonna come now. If you bought it back in the day, it came like this. You can get it for $32.49 for a 100 ml size bottle. Like I said, today it comes like this. It's just a, a cheap plastic cap. Back in the day, it had a metal cap with a little leather strap and these little charms. So there's been a lot of talk about this fragrance in terms of reformulation. People say that this version is just infinitely better than this one, that this is just terrible, horrible, nowhere near as good as it was back in the day. I actually did a video on these two way back uh, toward the beginning of my channel and compared them side by side. There's a difference, but it's not big enough to really get worked up over. So while this older version is the one that I would rather have, it's really not a big deal. It's like a slight increase in performance, very slight, and it smells like it has a little more depth, but again, not a big deal. This has oud, leather, cedar, cypress, and mandarin as some of the notes in the fragrance. So you've got a lot of masculine notes in there, oud, leather, woods, but it is actually really wearable. We've got a decent amount of sweetness in here, and that helps contrast some of the other notes, some of the notes that might turn people off. It really helps balance things out. That one's gonna be a little better for fall and winter time. You can use it day or night, though a lot of people will say it trends more toward nighttime use. Solid scent, at one point, Dirty English was considered a great cheap buy. People talked about it all the time, but it's kind of been passed by. Still really solid. And the last one is the most expensive one. It's $47.44 for 100 mils and it's this one, Womo Deep Desire from Roberto Cavalli. Cinnamon, saffron, cedar, and pepper, some of the notes in the fragrance, and this one is another one like Dirty English. It's a little better in fall and winter. It also has cashmere in it. Again, a note that gets used a lot in modern men's perfumery, and it gives you that nice, fuzzy warmth. The cinnamon and saffron combo in here is what really makes the fragrance, it gives you this nice, sexy, seductive vibe to it. Great for evenings, great for dates, again, fall and winter time, but you can also wear this casually and you could wear it to the office as well. Cavalli Womo, Deep Desire, and that line in general, Roberto Cavalli Womo, is really good for the price across the board. So there we go guys, 10 different fragrances for under 50 bucks that are really versatile, very easy to pull off fragrances. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all of your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.